we have just witnessed a historic 60 meter race with one of the most anticipated athletes in the world of track making their official comeback. This is Christian Coleman's first time competing in one of his dominant events since his controversial 18 month ban. Well, the world 100 meters champion Christian Coleman has been provisionally suspended from competition for chalking up a third whereabouts offense in a 12 month period. Yeah, he ran a 300 meter earlier in the month, but we all know his specialty is the 60 and 100 meters. He's a 2019 100 meter world champion and holds a 60 meter world record record of 6.34, a 60 meter record that was previously held by Morris Green for 20 years when he set it back in 1998 with a time of 6.39. Oh yeah, and he also has the fastest 40 yard dash with a time of 4.12. The fastest 40 yard dash in the NFL is 4.22 set by John Ross in 2017. Safe to say that when it comes to short distance sprints, he is the most dominant athlete in the world at the moment, despite being banned for 18 months. Many believed Coleman's biggest competitor going into this event was Trayvon Bromel, which makes sense. He was the fastest man in 100 meters in 2021. He ran 9.76, which is actually the same time Coleman ran to win the 2019 World Championships in Doha. That's right, they had the same personal best in the 100 meters, tied for the sixth fastest 100 meter of all time. They also both won 60 meter world champ. Trayvon won it back in 2016. However, there's someone else who also posed a big threat coming into this race. Can you take a guess who that is? I'll give you a hint, his name rhymes with Undertaker. Ronnie Baker took bronze in the 2018 60 meters world championships, won the 2017 60 meters national championships, and most importantly holds the third fastest 60 meter ever with a time of 6.40. Some might argue that was four years ago and that's fair. His 60 meters has slightly increased since. The thing is, if he was able to drop back down to some of his previous times, he could have taken first place easily. That being said, there's two other guys we have to acknowledge. One of them is Omar McLeod, world champion and Olympic gold medalist in the 110 meter hurdles. The other guy we have to acknowledge is Noah Lyles, Olympic bronze medalist, world champion and fourth fastest 200 meter sprinter in history. He also came in hot with his 200 meter bronze medal win in Tokyo and title of fastest 200 meter time in 2021. Speaking of Lyles, we can't forget his brother Josephus Lyles also ran alongside him. Fortunately this took place on my local track here in New York. I got a great view across the finish line so that I could get the best footage for you guys so hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm if you're enjoying this video. And a clean start. Incredible race, now let's talk about the numbers. If we compare this with the fastest indoor 60 meters of last year, with this performance of 6.49, he would have tied for the third fastest 60 meters of 2021. With the fastest being none other than Marcel Jacobs and the second fastest, Trayvon Bromel. What are his chances of staying on top this year? Well, everyone with a faster 100 meter time is either retired or past their prime, respectfully. Like I mentioned earlier, Trayvon Bromel is tied with Coleman for sixth fastest 100 meter of all time. And apart from Africa's fastest men, nobody else in the top 10 is actually in their prime. Although this win doesn't necessarily mean that Coleman is gonna dominate the outdoor season, it does confirm that he hasn't lost the sauce. One of the biggest events that we will see Christian Coleman at this year will likely be the World Athletics World Championships, taking place in the US for the first time. And we already know he's strong in the 60 meters, indoors or outdoors. One of his biggest obstacles is towards the end of a race during the 100 meters. And that we have yet to see. The year has only started. Chances are he is strategically working on this, which might explain why he ran a 300 at the start of the year. If he's able to turn that weakness into a strength, we could see him come back stronger than ever, but only time will tell. What are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments, debate, discuss. Who do you think will dominate in the 100 meters this year? Honestly, this is the first major track event I've ever attended and it was worth every penny. Yeah, there's money, fame, and status to be gained from these competitions, but being there in person, I can tell that these athletes, the fans, and everyone involved really loves this sport simply for the sake of competition and seeing what the human body is capable of. Completely different vibe than going to a football game or basketball game where the fans are ready to rip each other's throats out. Don't get me wrong, those can be super fun as well, it's just a whole different environment. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, click here to watch this one on how Andrew DeGrasse became 200 meter Olympic champion. Canada's fastest man has been consistently improving and his story is truly remarkable. Click here to watch that video next.